Hi, I'm Leanne from Bat Lady Herbals, and welcome to my video. So, living in Florida, there's a couple issues you tend to encounter during the summer when it is hot and you want to go out into the wilderness or out into the woods or out hiking. And one of those is the extreme heat, which is why you haven't seen a lot of videos from me lately because it has been really hot. So today we decided to share with you one of our favorite things to do when it is hot and we still want to get out into nature. And so today we are at the Apopka Wildlife Drive. Even though this is a wilderness drive, there's places to pull over on the side so you can observe. And there's also some places where there's restrooms and trails. And uh, while none of the trails are really that long, it's great for summer because you can get out of the car and walk for just a few minutes. But one of the first little pullovers on the side not only has a restroom, but it has this nice little area with lots of plants, including a couple of my favorites. That tall spiky thing is one of our plantagos or plantains. It's not Plantago Virginia because the leaves are really broad. But I very rarely get to see this one when it's blooming. And it happens to be popping up right in the middle of all this frog fruit. And pennywort or dollarweed. In the back of this little area, there's also a beautiful willow, which is great. Because most of this uh, area does have a lot of willow around it, but it's a lot of times out of reach if you stay on the drive. One of the great things about the Lake Apopka Wildlife Drive is that it is a huge area for wildlife, you know. But especially if you're a bird person or a gator person. You see a lot of gators around here. You see a lot of birds. Just a really nice little drive through. And if you're interested in doing the tour, they have an audio tour you can uh, uh, tune into on your phone or radio. And there's instructions on how to do that at the beginning of the drive. See, in Florida, pretty much anywhere you see cattails, you're probably going to find a gator. We have these beautiful cattails. And water hemlock. And gators. And birds. Lots of birds. So this is a great time of year for the cattails too easy to identify. So the benefit of the wildlife drive is that you can stay in your car and appreciate nature and, and have the AC. But you can still identify plants on the side of the road, like these cattails. We've been seeing lots of water hemlock. And of course, you get an excellent view of the wildlife. Can't tell what that thing is that looks like it could be a log. That's a gator. <laughs> he is watching the road really close. I don't blame him one bit. And a beautiful view of the lake. So this little bit of the pond gives us a closer view of some of the water and aquatic plants that are in here. You can see there's a species of dollar weed that's pretty close to the shore and actually crawling up onto the shore. So the stuff a little bit further out looks to me to be water hyacinth, which is an invasive in the area and tends to clog up the waterways, not just for boating, but also for the animals because as it clogs up the waterways, it's going to cause the die off of the native uh, wetland grasses and things like that that 
a lot of the wildlife depends on here. But you can also see pretty close to the shore here, we've got some cattails and some water hemlock, which are those plants with the um, kind of umbrella shaped flower heads that have looks like they have unopened flowers right now on some of these but they're in all different stages of life right here and the little white poofs are them in flower and they are commonly misidentified as elderberry or elder which is an edible and medicinal plant that grows around here too so this is a caution for anyone who likes to forage or wildcraft their uh, their plants because water hemlock and elder are very similar to each other and one of the biggest distinguishing factors is if it is in a lot of water there's a good chance it's water hemlock but that's not the only distinguishing factor because they do grow in drier areas too and there's also seasonally dry areas here in Florida. We have all these little convenient places to pull over usually places where you can find good views and a lot of these places have information boards telling you a little about the area about Lake Apopka the wildlife well, these are good places to get out stretch your legs for a bit and get a little bit closer to things for instance this area right here has all kinds of plants and wildlife in it. See, May through August in Central Florida, you're more likely to see a lot of alligators in the wild because it is their mating season. And so coming out here in the middle of July, or beginning of July, really. We're uh, in prime gator watching here. There's a couple right places now. where this little driving trail branches off, and we decided to take a road we've never gone down before today. It's a little bit more narrow than our usual uh, way that we drive, but there's fewer cars, so we don't have to worry about stopping people too much. And there seems to be more birds in the trees. And past this bunch of ragweed on the side of the road, there's a cluster of green, and you can see some purple spikes sticking out of it. That is pickerel weed. It's one of the plants that grows in water, but also in areas that tend to be a little bit drier in certain seasons. I may not be very well up on my aquatics, but one of my favorite aquatic plants that you find in freshwater areas in Florida is the spatter dock. You can see here this patch that I probably would have grown up calling lily pads is a spatter, spatter dock with flowers that haven't quite opened completely yet. But when they do open, they're gonna be bright yellow. You can see the yellow starting on the uh, the tips of the, the buds. Looking at the plant life as we go on, you can start to see a change in uh, habitat. Because before it was more marshy, wetlands-ish. It's still wetlands, but you're starting to see a little bit more of the uh, trees come in that you don't normally see in the wetlands. We stopped on another little uh, spot that allows us to get a little bit closer to everything. Found some interesting plants I can't ID. <laughs> I will try harder when I get home. But I've also found some Ceda. Probably a Cuda. Ceda Cuda. And towards the end of the drive, you start seeing on one side of the road is farms, agricultural areas. You might see the occasional irrigation system or tractor. You might see some different wildlife over here 
because this type of area tends to attract different species of birds and other creatures. On the other side of the road from all the agricultural stuff, we're seeing another habitat change as we see a lot of pines, a couple palm trees, and some plants in the distance that could be elder or they could be water hemlock. See, in this habitat, you're probably going to see more of the uh, mammals than birds. I don't know if we'll see any today because of the time, but there have been times where my husband and I have come out here and we've seen wild boar and where we've seen deer. And this is the area where we started to see those. Just remember, if you come across wild boar, you don't want to mess with them. They can be uh, rather aggressive, especially if you happen to see little ones around. So we're at the end of the wildlife drive and uh, we saw mostly marshy wetland kind of areas on the lake. And then we got into a little bit of farming, agricultural areas and some woodlands. So got to see a lot of different um, habitat uh, while we were doing this drive and we got to see quite a bit of wildlife uh, So this is always a fun thing to do But keep in mind Apopka Lake Wildlife Drive is only open on Friday, Saturday Sunday and federal holidays So make sure that you check the, the website which I will link down below or make sure or and make sure you check your calendar as well to see if uh, it is open on whatever day you'd like to go. And once again, I'm Leanne from Bat Lady Herbals. Thank you for joining me on this uh, little, somewhat different adventure from usual. If you'd like to see more of my videos, we have hiking videos as well as plant videos on this channel. Feel free to have a look around. Don't forget if you like this video to like and subscribe. If you want to be kept up to date on everything I upload, hit that notification bell. Also, feel free to comment and ask questions. I love uh, talking to you guys and, and going back and forth with different questions and answers and stuff that you might have. Also, I do have a blog that has a little bit more about some of the plants that we encounter as well as um, some recipes on it at batladyherbals.com. If you want to uh, help keep this channel up and going and help to uh, grow it, then feel free to find me on Patreon. And I also have a Teespring shop that has quite a few designs on um, herbalism and hiking in Central Florida. So all of those will be linked down below. And thank you again. Have a wonderful day.